The flow of the euro is in for a cut. Economic recession looms. The 19 finance ministers from the single currency euro are tasked with coming up with a way to spread the financial burden. Corona bonds, now an unpopular word. But there's a call for countries to club together to take on debt collectively. Flatly refused by the Netherlands and disliked in Germany. In their view, they've been really um, careful over the past couple of years. They've built up a war chest um, of money to save for a rainy day. And so they're worried that other countries like Italy, which didn't do that work, and now is in trouble, um, will sort of drag them all down if they all have to sort of stand behind these bonds. The European Central Bank is buying 750 billion euros in single government's debt, but insists that pooling debt together is also needed. The European Commission is proposing a 100 billion euro scheme to back loans to companies to prevent them from laying off workers. And France is suggesting a 10-year limited fund which all countries would contribute to to help the hardest hit. Finance ministers know they need to work the European stability mechanism into the solution. The bailout fund set up after the 2008 financial crisis can get its hands on around 700 billion euro. Economists say the tools are there. If this explodes into a full-blown eurozone crisis, then uh, it would be a, a sort of a huge crisis, self-inflicted crisis that's really totally unnecessary. Um, strong policy response uh, will allow us to manage this crisis and we have the scope and the capacity to respond and we should really respond. Plans for Europe's economic recovery are testing the seams of the bloc's unity. Jack Parrick, Euronews, Brussels.